Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble Heroic Campaign Guide, I show you how to beat Blood Mage Talos in Lordaeron. There are basically two approaches that you can take and both of them are pretty fast. This is not a long battle of attrition, this is just go in, single push, Talnos dead, win, and that's it. So the plan number one is to go through here, go through the Banshee Corridor, because there's a lot of Banshees here and they're coming coming for you. Some Banshees will also be coming from you from here, even more so in Heroic. So you just push through here, you turn Talnos around with a quill bore, and then your army is going to shoot Talnos in the back and Talnos is going to die. The second alternative also uses some forces to push through the Banshee Corridor, at least to open some chests, but you're mostly attacking Talnos with unbound minis. So Unbound Minis is even faster, you don't have to worry about how do you get your army through the corridor, because the army is already there, but it does require a little bit more power, it does require maybe a little bit more talents, so that you will have more DPS than just going through the corridor, which can be done without any talents whatsoever. You also need to defend your base to an extent. Your base can take two Banshee hits, if there's no big hit, big push coming from here. So if Talnos in there's various openers, the AI has different opening hands and the AI will use different strategies. Some of those you can also affect. If the AI wants to make a big push from here, then you can take two Banshee hits from here and then just push through and kill that push and push at Talnos and that's going to be fine. If the AI is going to push from the tower, then you want to try to mitigate at least the Banshee hits as well so that your base can take a few more hits so that you will get a little bit more time to kill Talnos. An important thing to note in this map is that you can affect how the AI is going to spawn. So you may also need to experiment a little bit. AI will have different opening hands in different attempts. So sometimes like sending troops here, sometimes putting some troops over here. For example, sending a troll here or sending troll and chickens here or sending chickens here and troll here, chickens here, troll over there. You can experiment with those a little bit because it is going to change the way the AI responds and then you will be able to pick up from those responses, the one that is most favorable to you and use that as your core and then, then just end the game. So here is the army that I use if I want to push through the corridor. I have chickens, harpies, quillbore, troll, chimera and blizzard. And this army has been selected so that this is able to respond every single opener that Talnus has. Often you just need to send your chickens and trolls. Chickens and trolls are the units that can kill banshees. These will kill banshees. I mean, a chicken gets possessed, but big deal, there's so many of them. And troll can kill banshees, as long as it's enough on an open terrain so that they don't get to, get to come at it behind a corner, then troll will kill banshees before they get to it. So these units are your banshee killers. Then harpies are your main damage dealer, deal damage to Talnos. Quillbor is there to turn Talnos around. We have Chimera. Chimera is here to potentially kill some Necromancers. And we have Blizzard. And Blizzard is here to kill Pyromancers if needed. If there's a Pyromancer coming down the Banshee Corridor, you will need to kill it with Blizzard. You could also do that with Safe Pilot, but only if the Safe Pilot is on equal level with the Pyromancer. So Blizzard just works even, even significantly lower leveled. And the Unbound Spam alternative looks like this. I'm using Vaughan, Darkspear Troll, Safe Pilot, Quillbore, Chickens and Whelp Eggs. And you really need these minis pretty much because Whelp Eggs are wonderful, a lot of DPS. You drop Whelp Eggs, you get Talnus to hit them once and you rapidly turn Talnus around by dropping Quillbore on the other side. Vaughan is another great alternative, almost as much DPS as Vuelbex, so these are your highest DPS unbound minis. Quillboard with Tank Talnus, and Safe Pilot can also respond to something that's going to come. I have coming in hot talent here still, but that's actually really bad right now, so you would definitely prefer to have the cloaking device. And then Troll and Chickens are here for the same role, because they handle Banshees. There are so many Banshees coming at your base that you will have to manage those Banshees, otherwise the Banshees alone are going to destroy your base. And even though you're spamming a lot of Unbounds, then do consider what you need to play at the start, especially, and maybe even later on some little things at your own base to manipulate the AI spawns and also to defend a little bit. And this is what both of these comps look like in action. And here we go, the Banshee Corridor strat, and I first drop a Miner over there. The Miner is not actually trying to mine unless I have protection for it. I would need to drop either the Chicken or the Troll to protect the Miner if I wanted to mine. This time I'm choosing to drop them both on that side. 
but the miner is going to catch a banshee. And by catching a banshee, that means that the banshee is not going to burn my base. And here I'm dropping another miner who's also there just to catch the banshee. So now there's two banshees that didn't hurt my base. I also want to get rid of the pyromancer. Pyromancer deals so much damage. That will give me a little bit more time to get a good push in at Talnos. Now we have good push coming. We have harpies and also we have chickens. And chickens also deal a fair bit of damage. We turn Talnos around with Quillbore and then harpies chickens they're just eating away talons and boom talons is dead all right another go at the corridor strat this time troll is there i position troll quite far to the left so that there's no corners so that troll has unobstructed view of all the banshees so they will be able to shoot at them then that chimera is at a little bit of a risk if it gets too far ahead, but now it's fine. And this is actually the reason I put in the blizzard, because there was that necromancer, pyromancer, all sorts of stuff push coming there right at the start, and I couldn't get rid of it. So then blizzard offered me the option to do that. And now we have survived the early fight. Two Banshee Burns, and as you can see, two Banshee Burns almost destroyed my base. But for this specific one, I was able to afford to take them, because I knew that the Abomination would come in so much later. And then Talnos dies. So sometimes it requires a little bit of experimentation, but you have answered to every single thing Talnos can do in this deck. And then on to the Unbound strat. This time we're still interested in the corridor, there's a lot of Banshees, and all of those Banshees are coming at my base, and if three Banshees reach the base, the base is dead. But now I'm more interested in the corridor just for taking those chests so that I will be able to just gain all of that gold. Now dropping the whale packs there, then followed that up with the quillbar and actually I messed up the timing there. That was quite awful. If I hadn't messed up the timing, I, I guess I would have just almost, almost already won. Because look at how much damage the Vorgen is dealing as well. Well, Sometimes you mess up the timing. I should have positioned the Quillbore a little bit earlier when Talnus was just getting getting ready with the animation. Either way, we're fighting with the Unbounds against Talnus, and we're defending the base with with whatever troops we have available. And there we go. Now Banshees are starting to spawn. I want to get rid of those Banshees with the chickens. I waited until the Abomination commits, so that the Abomination wouldn't kill all of my chickens with its AoE attack. And, well, Talnos just ended up dead. And let's do that unbound thing again, this time with Horde, using some chickens. Again, chickens, really good against those banshees, and also for taking some of the chests. And now I would want to get the Welpex out there, I didn't have Welpex available, so I dropped one safe pilot, just sacrificed safe pilot. If it had no Clomish no kin device, then that would have been nice, but... Now, this time my timing is correct. Quillbore turns Talnos around, and Talnos is being hit by chickens, whelp eggs, whelps, and organ, and yeah, that's just Talnos going down. So this strategy, especially the higher level your minis are, the better this becomes, because then Talnos just dies instantly, whereas moving your army through the corridor always requires a little bit of coordination. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.